Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to use probiotic formulations for skin renewal. Now you might be aware that there is a microbiome on the skin that lives symbiotically with us. And when our microbiome is healthy, our skin is healthy. When our skin is healthy, our microbiome is healthy. But did you know as we age, the health of this microbiome also changes? So if we could recreate the health of the microbiome the way it was a few years ago, we'll start to see our skin regenerate and behave the way it did a few years ago. Now the microbiome is actually regenerating at the mid epidermal level, which is great because we can use serum delivery to get probiotic lysates to this mid layer of the epidermis so that we can get the best anti-aging results. Now I'm using a probiotic lysate today in the formula because when you apply probiotics, they really should be in an encapsulated form. And this is because if you were applying just probiotics to your skin, the preservative in the formula could impact them. Certainly the processing, the manufacturing and other ingredients in your formulation would impact them and they just wouldn't survive the process, let alone even if they did when they're on the skin because they're whole probiotics, they just wouldn't interact with the skin the way we need them to. So instead I'm using probiotic lysates. It's like an extract from probiotics, beneficial bacteria. And in doing so, I'm actually getting all the good parts of that bacterial cell and applying it to the skin in a way that can be absorbed readily and is very biocompatible with the microbiome of my skin for the best possible results. Now I'm actually doing something a little bit tricky in this formula. I'm using Pro Renew Complex by CLR. Now this particular bacterial lysate interacts with the microbiome of the skin. It communicates with it and gets it to regenerate itself much like it did several years ago when my skin was younger. And by having this younger, more active microbiome, it does the same with my skin and my skin becomes more active. Epidermal renewal is like it was when I was younger as well. I'm also going to be using a material called L22. Now this contains a very special balance of lipids that matches the skin profile of a 22 year old. So in effect with this renewal product, I am tricking my microbiome and my skin balance into believing my skin is younger again. The result is younger looking skin. The other great thing about the bacterial lysates in this formula is it actually helps not only with epidermal thickening, but also to increase and make more efficient the desquamation process of the outer layers of my skin. And this in itself is a much more effective way to make my skin look healthier and younger and revitalize my complexion. This material has also been shown to improve barrier protection to reduce transepidermal water loss so that my skin looks much more supple and renewed like it did a few years ago when my skin was younger. Because of its improvements to the desquamation process, I don't need to use harsh alpha hydroxy acids or similar materials in a formula. I can get effective desquamation from my skin's natural processes rather than needing to use a chemical peel. And finally, using lysates in the formula means they're very easy to formulate with. I don't have to worry about special pH conditions or compatibilities of materials because these types of lysates go easily into a formula and deliver easily to the mid layers of my epidermis for the best results. So now let me show you how to put this skin renewal serum together so you can get making your own. First of all, I have here my water and glycerin. And here I have some Silly Gel. Now I'm using Silly Gel because it will provide a beautiful, silky feeling to the end serum that I'm creating. It's also going to emulsify my oil phase effectively so I won't need another emulsifier. Now I just need to mix this under high shear until I've fully dispersed and started to activate the Silly Gel. Now that I've hydrated the Silly Gel, I'm going to add my lipids. Now what I have in here, I have some Dermafil Sensol, so the product will feel really light on the skin. 
I've also got my L22 in here. Remember, this is going to help balance out my skin's lipids the way it was when I was 22 years old. And I've also got my antioxidant present. So I'm just going to add this to the Silly Gel and I'm going to use High Sheer again to prepare the emulsion and get it to stabilize. As you can see, we've now formed our emulsion and it's a really nice serum consistency. It will thicken up a little more overnight. Now I can add my essential oils and preservative and my active, the Pro Renew Complex. And I can just stir them through under low shear. They add easily into the formula. And then I just need to check and adjust pH. And there we have our serum. Now by the next day, it will thicken slightly. This is one I prepared yesterday and you can see it forms that beautiful serum consistency. And it also applies easily to the skin, absorbs beautifully, feels deliciously silky and provides the right penetration we need to get to the midlands of the epidermis for the best results. I made a serum today to show you how easy it was to create a great product story and a product with fantastic skin feel using some key actives and the Silly Gel as a functional ingredient. But you can also use this in creams or lotions. It really is about making sure you get the right active to the right level of the skin and the serum gives us a perfect delivery vehicle to achieve just that. One of the great things about these materials is they also come in a small pack size, perfect for small brands. So make sure you contact the companies direct, find your local representative, get pricing and get creating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.